dog experiment. This experiment concerns classical conditioning. Now, of course, to have a dog experiment, we're going to need a dog. Jake here volunteered for this one. And another thing we need is dog food. Jake loves this stuff. And then we've got our light here. I'm going to explain this to you. Now, if I gave Jake a piece of dog food right now, he would automatically start salivating. Stuff is going to go dripping all over the mouth. He's just going to make a mess, okay? And if I give him the food, he's going to salivate because he likes it. If I turn on this light, is he going to salivate? No, he's not. But I'm going to train him today to salivate when I turn this light on. And how I'm going to do this is through classical conditioning. Now, I give him a piece of food. This is the unconditioned stimulus because he's never learned this before. I'll just give him the piece of food and he's automatically going to salivate. His salivation is going to be the unconditioned response. Now, the conditioned stimulus will be the light because eventually I'm going to turn this light on and he's going to salivate. And when he salivates to the light, that will be a conditioned response. Okay. So, let's do the experiment right now. Food, but first I'm going to turn this light on. You're going to associate these two, okay? Here we go. Light, food. No, Jake, food. Eat the food, like this, look. Light, food. Mmm, that was good, all right? Now we're going to try this again. Light, food. No, Jake, eat the food. Jake, look, light, food. Mmm! I don't see what... This stuff tastes great. I mean, look, Jake. Light, food. Light, food. Look at this, eh? Light, food. Come on! Jake, light, food. Nah, I give up. With this one, I, I don't know what, what to do about it. Uh, what should have happened was... I would have turned on the light, given him food, repeated that over and over again, and he would have been salivating because of the food. And then what I would have to do is just turn on the light, and he would automatically salivate because he was expecting food. He wouldn't even need food. He'd just take the light, and uh, he'd just start salivating all over. But I, I don't know. It just wasn't working. I mean, if it would have worked, all I would have had to do was turn on this light, Oh man, oh, oh god. Oh my, I, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I didn't expect that one to happen. It seems that our original experiment just didn't happen the way it was supposed to. If, in, if you notice there, I was showing Jake here how to eat the food when the light goes on. But Jake wasn't being conditioned. It was me that was being conditioned. <laughs> oh dear, silly me. I didn't expect that to happen. Well, let's try another experiment. Follow me. For this next experiment, I think I just heard a knock. Oh, it's him. Oh, goody. Hi, right, how you doing? Just come on in here. Come on in. We're there. Oh, pardon me. It's the uh, construction work they're doing. They're doing some brick work up there. All right. I got a subject who's a little bit smarter than the dog was, and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do the light and the food again. Okay, what he will do is the light will go on automatically, and he'll take a bite of food, and naturally he's going to salivate. So with each time that happens, he's going to be conditioned to salivate when that light goes on, because the light's going to go on before he takes the bite of food. Once again, the food will be the unconditioned stimulus, Salivation will be the unconditioned response, the light will be the conditioned stimulus, and if he salivates to the light, that will be the conditioned response. 
I'm going to turn the lights off over here so you get a better view of the light uh, in front of the subject and I'm going to leave so there's no distractions this time. This one's going to work great. We'll see ya. All right, I'll see you later. Look out! What the heck was that? Sorry! It's a brick. Just watch it next time, all right? Can you get back in here? These guys are dropping bricks on my head. Jeez. Okay, just go over there and have a seat again and just tell me what happened. Okay, every time this light went on, a brick fell from those construction workers up there and just landed right on my head. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd still take a bite of food, but if that thing hurt, well, Okay, when the light went on, you took a bite of food, right? Yes. Well, okay, classical conditioning should have taken place then. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this light on, and this will be the conditioned stimulus. And uh, we're going to move this bowl of food out of the way. And you should just salivate. You're not going to take a bite of any food, and you'll salivate. That will be the conditioned response. So I'm going to go over there and uh, turn the lights off, and you just look at that light and tell me if you salivate when it goes on. All right. Are you going now? Yeah. Okay. No. Nothing. Listen, this is a waste of time. Well, just look at it again. All right. No, listen, I'm sick of this. It's not working. Well, okay. Get back over there and look at the light. Just get closer to the light, pull it up to you, and uh, just stare at it. It should work this time. Okay, but it better work. didn't turn out again. See, what I expected to happen, I expected him to be conditioned to the light because I wanted the uh, light to turn on, he'd eat the food, and uh, he'd salivate automatically when the light went on afterwards, but it didn't happen. It appears that overshadowing took place. There was a more salient stimulus, which was this brick. When it dropped on his head, it hurt so bad that when the light went on, it had no effect. He was cued to that brick instead of the light. That's what overshadowing's all about. Oh, I'm gonna get a new job. Let's hope next time the experiments turn out better. See you later, kitties.
Eat oo oo eat. Stupid dog. <laughs> Start out by going, all right, I'll see you later. And then I'll just sit here and look at the light like this. Okay? Uh, and I gotta go, look out! Yeah. Light, brick, blue. I know. I make sure you say, what the hell was that? Oh, it's a brick. <laughs> okay, like that, okay. Yeah. And then you, I'll, I'll grab it and I'll, I'll look up like that and you go, you go sorry. sorry. <laughs> all right. We'll start in a couple seconds here. Okay. See you later. Look out! No, we're not. Let's try that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's one of those Japanese ones. <laughs> Alright, do you have to say goodbye again? Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Look out! The heck was that? Sorry! The brick. Just watch it next time, all right? I'm not going to eat one each time, I can't. All right, give it another couple of seconds. Yeah. You get a chance to edit it. Okay, I'm gonna sit here. Good, good one. Okay. Yeah, just give me two seconds. Oops! Alright. Wait, we're doing this wrong. Okay. I'll do that second one again. Why? I need to return to this position and start looking at the light so I can edit. Okay. I'll look at the light, then I'm going to cut it and I'll give you the brick. And then I'll look at the light again and we'll see. This is the assembly for the sixth mandatory uh, confinement. Uh, okay. So, so we'll do that one again. Oops! Yeah, we'll do that again. Well, what did you say last time? Oops. Okay. Because the first time was watch out, and then sorry, and then oops for this okay. one. Okay, let's go. Oops! Okay. I had to get the brick off the table. We don't just want it to disappear. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> and look out. What, what, what do you wish I did this <laughs> no, this is gonna be uh <laughs> gonna be Hey you okay? Just drop it. Just say just say whoa. You okay? Whoa! Alright. Are you okay down there? Whoops! Alright, whoa! Yeah, wait, wait, this time I'll do it. I'll be looking at the light and then you say, Are you okay down there? I'll just wave up there. And I'll look at the light again. Then you you say, whoa, drop another one. All right. Then I'll eat it. Without yeah. the light? No, with the light. Okay. Oh, 
shit. How, how does this go again? All right, light. No, I go, how's everything going down there? And you just wave up, and then I'll turn the light on and go, whoa, drop it again. Yeah, I'll wave up, then you, I'm going to look at the light, and then you turn it on, and then... How's everything going down there? Ah, uh, just great, thanks. Whoa!